my name is Brian. I'm from Portland, Oregon. And I'm Kate Anderson. I'm from Enid, Oklahoma. This video will give you examples of the Southern Cloth, Northern Traditional, and Jingle Dress Dance. By ending this video, our goal is to help you recognize and better see the different types of dance that you'll see at festival. The first style of dance is the Southern Cloth. The regalia will consist of a long sleeve blouse, a yoke, and a skirt. In early Potawatomi history, the women would tend the gardens and use their yoke to cool them off. Another way would be showing off their wealth and using conch shells. The southern cloth dance is characterized by a slight bend in the knees to the drum beats and a slight bend at the waist and knees on the honor beats. This dance characterizes also the shawl that they carry on their arm and they gracefully sway with it to the music. This dance completely embodies the native strength and beauty of the native woman. My name is Taisha Zintek and I am dancing Southern Cloth. Next dance that you'll see is the northern traditional. This dance is separated regionally by the northern and southern border of Nebraska. This dance was originally from the Omaha people and it was later adopted by the Crow and the Sioux. This is a northern war plan stance and it was done before hunting and before going to battle. The most important characteristic to take away from this is that the dancer is looking down. He is searching for the tracks of his enemy and his prey. My name is Kobe Lehman, and the dance I'll be demonstrating is called the Northern Traditional Dance.
final dance that you'll be seeing today is the jingle dance. <clears throat> this dance came from the Anishinaabek and Ojibwe people. It's a dance of medicine and it's a dance of healing. It came about in the 1900s when the white <clears throat> European settlers came across and brought their diseases. It's important to know that not anyone can do this dance. There are three different ways that you can. Either there will be a loss of a male family member, you will be gifted by an elder or a dancer, or you will hear the bells in your dreams. This dance is easily recognized because of all the cones and the noise that it makes. There are traditionally 365 cones on the dress to represent each day of the year. Bonjour, le code protégé indigène cas pour doit mean dao shishibani le bin d'anglaise. Hello, my name is the code protégé. I'm citizen Potawatomi and I am a jingle dancer. Now that you've seen different style of dances, we'd like to thank you for sharing your time with us to watch it, and hopefully you found it informational. We hope this will help you recognize some of the dances that you'll see at festival, and we hope to see you around. Thank you.